Considering all the news and events of last week, it seems like an excellent time to do a face-off between GPT, OpenAI, versus Claude, done by Anthropic. Here's an article from Tuesday of last week in Forbes magazine with the headline saying OpenAI faces competitive pressure from Anthropic. And in that article, we see a quote from Suhail Donshi, who says that anyone using OpenAI's APIs should be prepared for the possibility of complete downtime. The tweet received nearly a million views at the time of publishing. And if we hover over that blue text, we can see there's the link on Twitter. You can see it's Suhail, who's the founder of Playground and the current founder and CEO of Mixpanel. Following the link, we get nothing. Apparently, the post has been deleted. Yeah, if I had written that and it didn't turn out to be true and a million people had read my post, I probably would delete it also. But fair enough to say that many people were concerned last week, especially people who were using the OpenAI API to run various systems or processes in their business or were planning to do so. Now, at the same time, Tuesday of last week, we got this announcement from Anthropic. Introducing Claude 2.1. Coincidente, as Father Guido would say. Let's take a look at that post. Here it is. The main points are this industry-leading 200k token context window, which means the ability to upload massive documents, and these other uh, capabilities that we'll talk about. Reducing model hallucination, new uh, system prompts, a beta feature for tools, and lower cost. All of that is explained here. So let's take a look at a head-to-head -head comparison of OpenAI versus Anthropic. And starting off with statistics. So here we see a third-party score, the GRE Reading Comprehension Score, 93rd percentile for OpenAI versus 86 both are good. I'd say OpenAI is an A. And then on reasoning, which is another third-party test, also those two, uh, OpenAI comes out as the winner. However, in regard to English composition and in regard to math, it seems that Claude 2 by Anthropic is the winner. But of course, the key thing, so, so far, it's head-to-head. -head. Now, the key thing was the news last Tuesday about tokens. And here you can see what OpenAI refers to as 32K or 32,000 tokens, which equates, as you can see there, how many pages and words versus. And Anthropic already was ahead the week before because the week before they were at 100,000 tokens, 75,000 words, 250 pages, Tuesday, they doubled that. So they, they further spread the distance between them and anyone else. Now that's important because what you can do is take very large documents, multiple documents, drag them to the query window, push enter, and it will summarize those documents, the differences between them and so forth. So if that's what you're trying to do, Anthropic would be a very good choice in that situation. So, Anthropic is the winner on that one. Now, in regard to coding, we have both of them are good at coding. I myself am very pleased with OpenAI in that regard. Last night itself, I was trying to run uh, some code in Python. Uh, it was code that I got from the MongoDB uh, Atlas website that was supposed to be ready to go to run in Python. It did not handshake. So I took that code, I pasted it into GPT, I showed the error message, and I asked what might be done to rectify the situation. Brrr. GPT explained exactly what was wrong in words, and then wrote new code. I was able to copy that, paste that into Python. Boom, it ran perfectly. Think how all the time I saved. So yes, I can personally testify that OpenAI is very good at writing excellent high quality code and indeed the developer community tends to agree that 
today, OpenAI slightly edges out Anthropic in regard to that parameter. Now, in regard to cost, you can see here a comparison of costs. It's fair to say that 6K cannot be compared one-to-one -one against Claude Instant, nor certainly can 32K be compared to Claude 2.1, but you can see that the costs are lower at Anthropic, and indeed, it's what you'd expect. OpenAI is the leader, they have leader pricing, and Anthropic is the challenger, they have challenger pricing. So, okay, Anthropic wins on costs, pretty significantly lower. Now, let's take a look at an example. Here is a prompt, just to bring this to life a little bit, a question that is very conducive for comparing the answers of these two systems. Please describe in words what each part of Shannon's entropy formula does and why the formula makes sense for the purpose intended. Of course, the entropy formula, written in 1948 by Claude Shannon in a two-part paper at Bell Labs, a very important formula that's used in a variety of contexts in machine learning, including decision trees. And so, let's take a look at that answer. Here it is. Please describe in words what each part of Shannon's entropy formula does. Ba, 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 ba. So, look at this nice answer. First, it starts off with, here's the formula. Starts off by setting the context. Let's break it down. So then, here's what's on the left of the equal sign. Here's the summation over the classes. Good. The probability of each class, and it describes probabilities are an essential, are essential because they weigh the contribution of each class to the overall entropy. Good. Then it's the, the log to base two represents the amount of surprise or information associated. Mm -hmm. Negative, it's being reversed. Now instead of measuring information, it's measuring uncertainty. Good. Now let's discuss why this formula makes sense for the intended purpose, because it was a two-part question. Okay, it breaks it into three parts. Measurement of uncertainty, this is very cogent. Number two, information gain in decision trees. Decision tree context, very common use for this. Quantification, yep, it's in bits, so base two makes sense for that reason. Nice summary, very good job. This is very well done. This is an excellent response, my goodness. Now let's take a look at Anthropic. Same question, please describe in words. One thing we can see is that this response is much more uh, terse, much less. It does not start off with the, the formula as OpenAI did. It, the explanations of each of the terms are much more compressed. And uh, indeed, it doesn't call out the negative sign as reversing the formula. And then it takes that second part of the question and compresses it down into this last paragraph. So I think it's fair to say that you, this is one example, but using this particular example, it seems that OpenAI is, you can understand that why some would say it's better at comprehension, it's better at logical reasoning. It's, uh, it's extremely impressive. Both are impressive, both are very impressive. But OpenAI, I'd say in this regard, edges it out. So here are the strengths in summary, comprehension, logic, reasoning, definitely coding. The developer community sort of is uh, in agreement that right now OpenAI uh, edges out Anthropic. They're both good. Uh, Anthropic is often used for debugging. But overall, number two, number three, language support, 200 languages supported versus 10 supported by Anthropic. So that's a clear winner if number of languages is important to us. Range of use cases, yes. Wider range of use cases, more complex tasks. And this interesting thing called few-shot learning, which means that with only two or several training examples, already OpenAI can start learning. Let's take a look at Anthropic. Anthropic, as we saw, scores slightly better on math. Not that important of a, of a comparison. Uh, a, Somewhat more important is this marketing communications. It's used, for example, by Jasper. And in general, we saw it had a higher score on written uh, composition. Of course, 
for marketing, if we get something that's 98% of the way there, we can nuance it the rest of the way. So that's not that important. But anyway, that's an area where it's, it's ahead. Now here is a key. So the 200K tokens of context makes a world of difference in certain situations. So if we've got large bodies of text that we want to make part of our query right now, Anthropic is the winner in that regard. Ethics and safe text generation, yes. So Anthropic has algorithms underneath the hood that are more pointed at this end result. And indeed, Anthropic positions itself there. And so if we are also worried about that, of course, the truth is oh, neither OpenAI nor Anthropic is, has much chance at all of generating inappropriate content. But anyway, Anthropic is even more focused than OpenAI on that. So if we're very worried about that, then Anthropic would be a natural choice. And of course, cost we saw is lower. So there you go. I hope you found that to be a nice summary of the head to head. I think it's fair to say that the choice of the two depends upon our particular use case. Let's see as this evolves. Hope you found that useful. Bye for now.